Welcome back. A local woman from New Haven has followed her dreams, putting her yarn shop on the road to teach others how to knit. From events to retreats, Tina Sagato's passion has gone far beyond her own pair of knitting needles. Our Alicia Smith is outside, taking us inside her labor of love on wheels. Hey, Alicia, that looks pretty cool. So cool. I, I almost have a knitting stitch down just in the break. I was about to learn it because Tina Salgado is amazing. You're so inspiring. This is the Labor of Love rolling yarn store that you started. Mm -hmm. Why did you start this? I had a big yarn shop and retail's changing so much. People want instant that. So I thought we'll have to change with the times and bring it to them. Let's go inside. I, I'm so excited. Again, she was just trying to tr teach me the basic knitting stitch, but first you have to take a look at all of the yarn. It really is a rolling yarn barn, if you will. And how has it been received? How long has it been open? Um, since May. And it seems like if people understand what it's all about, they are begging us to come and so excited. If they don't get it, then they're like, yeah, I don't know. But for the most part, it's been awesome. It's and been really where are amazing. some of the places you have taken this rolling um, yarn barn? We're trying to support local stuff. So we've been at our local um, farmer's market. And then we've been to a couple fiber festivals and craft festivals. We were at um, the Maker Fair in Dearborn at the Henry Ford Museum nice. where we won the Maker of Merit Award. Oh, congratulations. Now I want to show people on this wall, this is an example of the basic stitch, right? Yeah, that's all knit stitch. Anybody can learn it. It's super easy, very relaxing. Um, there's studies shown that, that when you knit, it changes the area of your brain that makes you happy. Ooh. So it's got lots of therapeutic uh, of, of value. Too. This is why my grandmother has been trying, was always trying to teach me how to knit and she actually started over here. Tina, we're going to try this again. If you'll hold the mic, Certainly. we're just walk me through this again. Okay. Isn't this pretty? She already started it. So in between, uh, in between, this yep, is uh, right just there. Like that. Yep. Okay. You I've got been it. having issues with this. It. And then take your, your yarn. This is the knit stitch. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, and pull and it back through where you came pull from. Pull it back through. No, no, no. Underneath that Underneath, one. like yep. here? Yep, and lift it off And then lift one. it off this one. Use this needle to I, lift I, it I'm off. I'm making it harder than it should Just be. There we go, that, there we go. It. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it only took me 10 <laughs> tries. <laughs> and I finally got it. See, it's all oh, that's gonna look so pretty. What are some of the easiest things people can knit? Obviously, you think of a, a shawl or a scarf. I but think popular stuff right now are, are like shawls and scarves. And You know, it's winter, it's knitting season. People are really excited to see things and get ideas. Um, they love kits that, that are hand-dyed yarn, have the, all the answers to all their questions sure. right there. They love making hats. Hats are easy, round and round and round, super Great easy. gift ideas too yeah. with, with the yeah. holidays coming up. So I bet you're gonna be busy. We are gonna be busy. This weekend we'll be at the Washtenaw County Fairgrounds for the Fiber Expo, Michigan Fiber Expo. And and it would seem like a natural fit for you. Yes, we'll be there right <laughs> at the front door. So If people wanna connect with you and come see you and come visit this, how can they reach you? If they like us on Facebook, Labor of Love Yarn on Facebook, every week I post where we're gonna be and I teach knitting classes at City Knits in Harrison Township, so they can call there and hook up with me there. Clearly, I need more classes okay. yeah, be awesome. <laughs> because I would it. love to finish this. This is so cool, and I can understand why it is meditative. Yeah, it's so great. I mean, people say, "Oh, I can't knit because I'm not patient." Well, I'm not patient either, but knitting has made me patient. Makes you patient. Yes, it does. Tina Salgado, everybody, <laughs> thank you so much from thanks, Labor of Love. People are going to be checking you out. We really yeah, appreciate come and it. See us. You'll love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Back to you. All right, Alicia, I hope you're going to make us all a little something while you're yeah, in there. I'll take